At the first meeting of the Hudson County Board of Chosen Freeholders in 2016, Tilo Rivas was named the chairman of the board, while Anthony Veneri was named the vice chair. Rivas, also the Union City Commissioner of the Department of Public Works, was sworn in by Mayor slash State Senator Brian Stack, while Veneri was sworn in by Hudson County Sheriff Frank Shaleri. Of the Office of Chairman of the Office of Chairman Hudson County Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County Board of Chosen Freeholders under ter until the term of that office expires on December 31st, 2016. Until the term expires on December 31st, 2016. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Of the office of vice chairman the of the Hudson County chairman, Board of Chosen Freeholders. Until the term of the office expires on December 31st, 2016. The term expires of the office to uh, December, December 31st, 2016. According to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. Help me God. Additionally, Jersey City Freeholder Bill O'Day was made the chairman pro tempore of the board. Rivas, Federi, and O'Day. All gave thanks for being given the opportunity to help lead the freeholders, offering some praise for last year's chair, Jersey City Freeholder E. Junior Maldonado. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It is a great honor to represent uh, the Board of Chosen Freeholders and uh, represent uh, my people. And then I'm looking forward to working together with you, with the administration. Uh, work with the uh, with, with the staff here, and uh, work with the uh, Hudson County. My hats off to the chairman, former staff chairman, Jimmy Maldonado, did an outstanding job as chairman for the year. It was our first time as three old as myself, Jerry, Kenny, and Carrie, under the leadership of Junior. We 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 take enormous enormous. Uh, we look at all the all the people here before us of how they proceed in meetings and how they govern and we just take everything we absorb everything and try to do the best we can for all the county residents uh, tenure as chair did a great job kept the board together we worked and dealt with a lot of tough issues but uh, I think we worked very well together uh, certainly want to welcome Tilo back as chair uh, last time Tilo was chair we had a good year and I expect we're going to have a good year this year Hudson County Executive Tom DeGees gave his stamp of approval on the job Maldonado did as chair as well, before also applauding the selection of Rivas as his successor. A couple of the freeholders mentioned it before, but Junior did a great job. He was very accessible, he was a diplomat, and he was very, very effective in his job. And, you know, Junior's uh, political career is a book that just keeps having chapters, and he added a nice chapter. Uh, being the chairman of, the, of this body, and it's going to look great on his resume. And Patillo, our new chairman, uh, he's been to this rodeo before, and we know what we're getting. We're getting a, uh, a calm diplomat, we're getting a steady hand that will guide the, the ship of the uh, freeholders and work with the administration just like he did before. Finally, Maldonado took a moment to address the praise from his colleagues, receiving a standing ovation after his remarks. Uh, during the past year, it's it's been um, trying times for everyone. Uh, I think we went through some issues that um, we we um, intelligently, educationally wise uh, talked about, discussed, and voted on, and that's what we're here for. As freeholders, we're elected to represent our constituents, and I wouldn't be a representative if I didn't hash out. Uh, issues to the point that I felt it was in the best interest of those constituents. So I thank you for the privilege, I thank you for the honor, and I wish everyone a happy new year. Thank you. I'm John Hydes with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.